Jones, how are you gonna find that statue and all this junk? Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. Oof! I've done enough climbing today. It's an old lecture hall desk. These books don't look familiar. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Better get that roof checked. Possibly an ancient Mesopotamian cat god. Looks pretty slippery. Looks pretty slippery. Here's what I've been searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. I'm back! Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Charles. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it! Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor. But I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. 
Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is Fritz? He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What is the spy one with the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. are locked, sir. I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. Hmm, it's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. I'm the fire inspector. What do you take me for, a moron? Wait a minute. Yeah, what for? Let me in, you Darwinian nightmare. Was that an insult? No siree. Lucky for you. Now shove off. Wait a minute. Why won't you take no for an answer? I really need to talk to your star. Stop, you're breaking my heart. It's a matter of life and statuary. Life and what? On second thought. Wait a minute. Yeah, what for? I really need to talk to your star. That's what they all say, Mac. Help me out here, will you? I would, but she'd have my head. Wait a minute. What now, buddy? I really need to talk to your star. Stop, you're breaking my heart. I've got to see her. She's the most wonderful woman. Don't kid around, pal. You're talking about my idol. No kidding. I think she's the greatest. Me too. There's something about her. Yeah, she sure knows how to obfuscate. No one talks about Madame Sophia like that! I guess I got lucky. I'm not sure I want to do a lot of fighting.
Excuse me. Aha! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I want a reading with Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? Write a letter. Hold on! You can't go out there. Think it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. Five thousand years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher? Or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens on that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. <laughs>